Hi, my name is Paul. And I'm Brooke. And today on Make It, we're going to show you how easy 3D is in apps like Illustrator and Photoshop. And we're also going to take a sneak peek at the brand new Adobe app, Project Felix. It's so easy, you can just reach out and touch it. So I'm going to take you through Illustrator and Photoshop, again, from a 3D sort of standpoint. We'll also get into a little bit of Project Felix. Project Felix, yeah. How fun. I'm looking forward to that. But we're going to start off, actually, this is in Photoshop, but just showing you the flexibility that uh, 3D gives you. And uh, I'm switching over to Illustrator, because this is kind of where we first started or dabbled in 3D. It's kind of more like a pseudo. 3D. Right, so the vector illustration 3D style. Yeah, exactly. And people would take type and they would try to, you know, duplicate it and draw these lines. All these vector paths got very complex. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times I've tried to draw perspective with right? a pen tool. It's so exactly. Tough. And there is a perspective tool, by the way. I'm not gonna I'm gonna skip over that perspective grid. I'm gonna dive into effect and whether this is type or uh, a logo or any sort of shape, I can extrude it. And that's what I'm doing right now. Super easy to do. Boom. You won't see anything yet, because I gotta click a little preview. Boom. Then what? you can add your sound effects, boom, rotate. <laughs> zh, zh. Right, so I can use numbers. I just like grabbing this cube and adjusting it. You know, I'm going to be really disappointed if I open my copy of Illustrator and I don't have those sound effects. I know, right? I, I <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're going to be you're going to find yourself doing them yourself, like expanding that extrusion wow. depth. By the way, that's so easy. The perspective I can play with this stuff all day long. But usually, what's really popular is that isometric look. And if you find yourself doing a lot of 3D, making lots of different 3D mm -hmm. objects, I just uh, encourage you to use even some of the presets. So I can do sort of isometric left, and that gives oh, me that cool. perfect angle. So here's the cool thing: I won't get into the shading. You can map art to it. I'm just going to click OK. Quite frankly, right? If I decide I want to jump in and change it, just because uh -huh. it's 3D it doesn't mean it's not editable. Love so it. Obviously, jump in. Make it, made it. Make it, made it. Done and done. And like you said, if you want to push around vectors in this case, uh, all you really need to do is you can actually go to Object and expand appearance. Right, and that will let me break them apart, correct? Yeah, exactly. Love and they it. might be grouped, but obviously you can ungroup them and you're well on your way to sort of defining these, moving them around, making it look maybe a little bit more unique. But this feels much better. From that's an awesome. Now, do you have a finished piece that you can I show do. us? I do. Oh, imagine that. Boom. Whoa, there that's awesome. I so, love it. That's so cool. Yeah, it, it is cool. A lot of these characters actually came from the templates. So I encourage you to just go file new. There's templates in there. That's where these characters came from. I'm going to move on. This is all vector. It looks fantastic. Oh, first off, let me just do a little. Let me actually hypnotize you You're for a second. You're actually blowing my mind <laughs> I'm now. actually blowing your mind right now. This, again, is done in 3D, and it's actually uh, just an image that's mapped to that's a lathe, cool. just to get you inspired on what you can do. So if I re release that clipping mask, you could see that that's what well, that shape is. Well, consider me inspired. Oh, good, and hypnotized uh, yeah. as well. <laughs> <laughs> so how about Photoshop? <laughs> Let's do that. And whether I'm working in Illustrator or Photoshop, actually, I'm going to take this element right here, OK? Something. And I need to start with something. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to jump in to good old Photoshop. And I'm going to paste it in as a smart object. OK, so there it is. Great. Could also be um, a shape. Yeah, I was going to ask, if I paste it in as pixels, does it still work? Uh, pixels, that's a good question. When you paste it in as pixels, you first off just wouldn't want to do that, Correct. but you can you can do that. Okay. Yes. Uh, so in general, it actually put it in my library. Here it is uh, as my shape. And at this point, I can go into Window 3D. And all I need to do is make it a 3D extrusion, right? So I just want to extrude this a little bit. I'm going to click Create right there. There are basic shapes. And mm -hmm. honestly, everything is made up of basic shapes. So you could really do a lot with it. Whoa. Right? Awesome. So exactly. So here it is. We can adjust sort of the current view. We can see that. Yeah, that's quite an extrusion, right? Right. I want just a little bit of this. And I'll show that's you why. Sculpture. Yeah, right. That's quite a. <gasps> So this looks really familiar to what we saw in Illustrator just a few seconds ago. Exactly. And a lot of this is just controlled by your Properties panel. So what you saw in the Options dialog, that's in your Properties panel now. But you could see it right here. You can rotate it, change it, map any textures you want to it. You can import, by the way. So import a new 3D layer from a file. So oh, you can cool. bring in other uh, objects. And that's what I've done, because cool. really what I ultimately want to make is something like an iPhone. So here you nice. see this iPhone case. 
and essentially I brought in the bumper That's and it so is cool. 3D. And the cool thing is, is I could actually 3D print this as well. So I click 3D right. print. Photoshop doesn't do the printing that's done by a third party. Someone like Shapeways, you can see it's fancy. I mean, Photoshop case. doesn't spit out a 3D printed it's, I object. wish it did. I mean, there's no 3D printer attached to it, but if there was, it could. I, I just know. assume send it off. That is super cool. Yeah, so it's And I fun. think that makes it really easy. Something that feels maybe not super approachable is 3D printing. It's like, how do I do this? You can do it in Photoshop. Yeah, and obviously Photoshop can do so much more than this. It's not just about 3D printing. It's for compositing, as I showed a second ago. Right. And but I this think is where we're at today, which so is What's cool. so awesome is that you can just send that file directly to a 3D printer. Yeah, exactly. So again, that flexibility. I think there's something more, by the way, in Project terms of 3D. Felix. There you go. Let me just show you it. Cool. Well. We'll show and tell here. Oh, All right. Yeah. So um, Project Felix is brand new, and for people who have Creative Cloud, they can actually go download it from the Creative Cloud desktop app. So I can see that you've been playing around in here a little bit already, um, but I'm going to create a new project. And so we open it up, and you can see it actually looks a lot like XD, which is kind of cool. It helps orient me and navigate, like I know kind of where things are going to be living. Um, well, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring a background in right off the bat. Um, and I have a background that I think I might want um, in my library. And what's really cool is Project Felix is connected to my library, so anything I have stored in there, um, I have access to. So I have in mind this panoramic mountain image, which is gorgeous. Is um, it's on gorgeous. the canvas, looks amazing. Um, and what this is doing is um, it didn't find the horizon line because we're obviously looking down, but if it did, I would be able to align camera to image and it would align me to the horizon line. Cool. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I actually want to pull in a model. And I could pull in any .obj or IML file into Project Felix, which is really nice. But I'm going to use some built-in models that they already have within the app. Um, and this is super handy because there are built-in models like your iPhone, ah, there we are. <laughs> which is pretty awesome. We can put the case on the iPhone. I know. Basically. There you go. Um, I'm going to pull in this crystal because I'm going for something a little bit more uh, I don't really know what I'm going for, but I think the crystal would be cool. Um, so you can see already is there's this little render preview, and what's happening is this is actually rendering in real time. So I'm going to go over here. Um, you can see as I hover over the tools, it tells me what it is and a little bit about what it does. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this a little bit. I'm going to rotate it. I want I want my crystal facing up. I like go. my crystals facing up. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, um, I could add a light to it, or what's really awesome is I can actually add a light from the background. So if I click on the background, I can say create light from image, and what that's doing is that's analyzing the image, and it's going to apply that lighting to the objects in my file, which is super handy. So you can see it's a little bit dark. Mm -hmm. If I want to change that slightly, all I have to do is go over to light, and I can increase the intensity of it a little bit, or the threshold and the intensity. And you can see down here, oh, it's, yeah. it's getting a little bit lighter, which is nice. Render, render, render. Cool. I like the constant rendering, though. Just I know. Like you, and you can pop it I know, it's, it's super nice, isn't it? So now I'm going to apply material. And you can see there's a bunch of built-in materials here. Um, I'm going to actually apply, I saw some wood down here, and the wood might be kind of cool. Mm. So I can just drag and drop once again. Everything in Felix is drag and drop. Boom, it's on there. Now this isn't quite exactly what I was going for. I think something a little bit shinier might be kind of cool. Um, and so I don't have to worry about, you know, deleting it or undoing it. I just drag it over, and it replaces that. Oh, this is awesome. Check it out. Yeah. So I can pop it up, and I can see exactly what that looks like. And Nice, clean. But you know what? This crystal has dropped a few times. Oh, yeah. So we're going to... It's a little damaged. A little damaged. We're going <laughs> to put some damage. So I look at this as like it's, it's, it's a spaceship and it's been through some journeys. I know. It's, 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 been, through, it's been through a few journeys through Earth. <laughs> so let's maybe increase the intensity of that light a little bit. Pop it up. Check it out. See how it's going. Yeah. I'm digging it. That's I like it. Cool. So now once I'm ready to render, all I have to do is flip over to this render tab. And you can see that I've got a bunch of different qualities right here. Um, obviously, the highest is going to take the longest. 
Um, and I can do in any format. So I could do PNG or PSD. Now, the benefit of doing rendering out into a Photoshop file is I can actually bring that into Photoshop. And let me just pop this up for you. So we've got all the layers in Photoshop here, everything. Um, and it's just as easy as that. Yeah, I love it. Again, it's sort of starting at the ground floor of this new 3D app, which makes me feel great as a designer. Absolutely. And we have the lead designer for Project Felix in next week. So Ooh. tune in. We can ask her questions. Very cool. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Working in 3D, Illustrator, Photoshop, Project Felix. Download it today. Make have sure you fun. hit subscribe. Definitely. And tune in next week. Thanks so much. Bye, guys. Thank you.